Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special video showcase I'm going to be showing you something that in my opinion is very very special. This is the Transformers sketchbook drawn by the comic book artist Andrew Wildman. It is absolutely spectacular. I sincerely hope my video does this some justice. I think the only way that I can do this any justice is literally to show you all of his artwork on every single page. It, because it's literally that good. I can't choose my favourites. I can't single anything out. It is so, so good. And even if I suppose you screenshotted this, it still isn't the same as having the actual physical book in your hands, which I'll tell you how you can order as well yourselves after this. Uh, so yes, for those of you who are unaware, Andrew Wildman is an amazing British artist and he helped draw some of, uh, in fact, and contributed a lot to the UK comics. So you may have seen some of his artwork anyway. He's got a little bit of an introduction here where he was saying that via his Patreon, he started up a page uh, to basically do exactly this. So he got the Transformers Universe book and he decided to draw every single character in there. So what this is, is it's like the Transformers Universe book, they're A to Z, uh, but it's all his actual sketches and of course he was selling these at the time um, and indeed his, what he's managed to put this book together. Now this book is an incredibly reasonably uh, priced at £15 and even £25 I think that's shipped worldwide. So it's so, so good. Um, and as I said, I can't do this any justice without showing you all of it. So without further ado, let's have a look at this. I corrupted about six people at the last TFCon I went to because I couldn't believe how good it was. And I showed it them and they all completely agreed. So there we go. We've got Afterburner, we've got Air Raid. And as I said, the thing what I really, I suppose, appreciate about this more than anything is I'm useless at art. So when I see his art, and in fact, anybody's art, Simon Furman was there as well, uh, just to see and be in the presence of these people who are so incredibly talented, it is just something really, really special. Now, I don't actually think anybody's actually reviewed this book anyway online. And as I say, I hope I'm not doing him a disservice by showing you every single page. In fact, I'm hoping that obviously that this brings up a little bit more attention to how good this book is, because I'd not seen this or heard about this. Look at I me, mean, look at the detail on Beachcomber there. Whereas the other books like Legacy, which I've of course done a couple of showcases on, which is the box art of the Generation 1 figures. I think this just takes it to a different level. Look, there's Blot, um, there's Blitzwing. When we get to some of the main characters in a second, you'll see that there's a couple of actual images of them. That's amazing for Bludgeon um, and Blue Streaks. Blue Streak, sorry. So yeah, I hope, as I say, I'm going to do this book some justice. I really like the fact that it's just sketches and not coloured in. I'm sure, obviously, with the colours, it would look good um, as well. But I just think, as I say, an appreciation... Um, of the characters. Braun, of course, hugely popular at the moment, waiting for his new update. Bruticus, Bumblebee, etc. Um, Chrome Dome, Buzzor, that's got to be, if we're going in alphabetical order. Cosmos, Cliff Jumper. So, again, this is just the Generation 1 cast that's in the normal Transformers Universe book. Um, yeah, exactly that. So, he does do um, appearances at some of the conventions. I'm very new to the conventions at the moment. Uh, dive bomb, that's brilliant. So um, I've only met him for the first time. And again, he seemed an absolutely lovely chap. I got some signed things from him there and I look forward to meeting um, him again. Look at Galvatron, it's just brilliant. It's so good. Um, as I say, just a huge appreciation of this. And the best thing about this book, as I say, it is still available. Uh, things like the Ark, which I want to get hold of. You, you just can't get hold of them. They're just absolutely silly, silly prices. So when he said that this was only £15, I just totally jumped at the chance um, of getting it. And I've just checked online again, as I said before I do this video, they are still available. So as I say, if this helps in any way, um, then it's, it was, it's worth it. Anyway, it's just worth it to bring to everybody's attention because um, I know there's lots of people out there who appreciate artwork like this and a lot of people who collect memorabilia merchandise that's brilliant for hotspot and hound um as well a bit like myself it's just something slightly different um but again if there's other books like this and collector's guide books on this channel in the in their playlists and indeed the flyers and the collector's cards etc i suppose just any memories of this amazing hobby and this amazing toy line from when we were kids is obviously always great to have and i think as i say especially with myself mega ratch wow that's that's from the comics obviously um 
brilliant if that's what I was just discussing. I've started, well, I say started. If you're new to this channel and you've not seen anything like this or you're not unfamiliar with the UK comics, I think there was 332 in total. So there was far, far more than there was obviously in the US. Um, and what I've done, and you'll probably have to forgive me for the first few issues, I was just getting used to how I could go about filming it, etc. But I've got from issue one, I've literally just done 254 as of the making of this video. But you've got the opportunity for yourselves to go onto that playlist, to click onto the individual comics. And after I've done a mini review, you can literally read the comics yourself, like I'm doing now, flicking through each page. Wow, look at Omega Supreme. Uh, zooming in for you, and as I say, I've been advised, there's of course the main man, Optimus Prime. We're past halfway now anyhow, guys, so thanks for sticking with me with this if you are looking at it. Um, yeah, as I was saying, so you've got the opportunity then if you wanted to, and then Power Master Optimus Prime as well, to read the comics. And although it's only popular with a handful of people compared to the rest of my videos, it's nice to get the comments, uh, wow, Piranicon and the clones, you know, of the people who are genuinely reading it and the people who haven't actually seen um, any of the material before. I know obviously that it's been re reprinted a couple of different times, especially in the UK. I think maybe only once in the US and the rest of the world. Uh, but also it's nice, again, this is other people's comments, that they get to see the actual comic with the cover, with the work inside it, rather than just, again, a pressed, a reprinted um, set um, of all the actual stories. So if you're interested in these and things like that, then it's worthwhile having a nose at reading them. As I say, you can just literally do exactly what I'm doing. You can read it as I flick through the pages. And as I say, it's not everyone's cup of tea, but the people who are reading it and watching it uh, seem to be really enjoying it. There's a great one of Scoop. There's all these figures and characters here, obviously, you just sort of, I don't want to say forgot about, but obviously some of them aren't as well known. So it's nice to see them um, in there, I suppose, in all their glory. Even if it's, again, some of the obscure ones, you probably noticed a few of the Junkians. We had Kranix in it earlier, Shockwave's amazing. Uh, there we go, side swipe, skull green. That's the that's how he really always is in the Marvel comic. Skylink, sky dive. I mean, as I say, the best thing about when you meet him in person is he's got some prints um, there as well. And in fact, he actually did some customs, or I don't mean customs. Um, I can't remember the correct word. It'll come to me in a moment. Um, where they he, they asked him to draw something, and he just did it freehand there in front of you. Just just amazing to see, to be honest. And maybe that's something I'll need to do next time maybe get my um my son's favorite one as i suppose drawn in hand right in front of my eyes um as i say to um to again and get it signed we're getting close to the end now as you can see we're on the s's so not too far sunstreak is superior and again hopefully this is uh, brought this book to some justice. Apologies for anybody who just wants me to shut up. <laughs> you can mute the volume on this as well if you wanted to. Um, but oh, Thunderwing as well. Look at that. Nearly there. Tracks. Trailbreaker. Twin Twist. I wonder what the last lettered figure is. Of course, it's going to be. It's got to be Unicron, surely, hasn't it? Viewfinder. Vortex. Forgot about them. Pair, obviously. Warpath. Wheelie. Wheeljack. Weird Wolf. That's nope, there's still a couple more. Wind sweeper and wind charger. And indeed, Retgar, the final one. There is the website address there, apwildman.com. And as I say, the book that you are looking to purchase if you're after this is exactly that. Transformers sketchbook. It is hopefully that's done it some justice, guys. What a great book. Uh, thanks for watching. Take care.